Nigerians living in the southwest region of Nigeria have taken their grievance to social media after security network vowed to frown at the social living of the people. Amoteku was established by the western state of Nigeria, which includes Oshun, Ikiti, Oyo, Ogun, and on those states. This body is a security network established to fight against insecurity in the southwest region of the country that is well known to be the geographical area of the Yoruba land and people. Today, however, one of the commandants of the security body from Oshu State, Commandant Amitolu Shitu, gave a stern warning ahead of the people that the Amoseku security network will henceforth cease to tolerate any form of indecent dressing and the speaking of incorrect Yoruba language amid the Yoruba people in the regions the security body will be operating. These statements from the Amotekun Security Network has enraged the people of Yoruba on Twitter as they vented out condemning such steps to be taken by the Amotekun. According to what the people are saying, the duty of Amotekun Security Network is to protect lives. Hmm. and uphold the safety of the people in its domicile in terms of good security and not to interfere in people's personal lives. Yoruba people with some concerned Nigerians condemn such art from the newly established body and they beginning to talk that how can this be? That is not your responsibility. Don't go and you know, don't pass your boundary. The authority that set up Amoteku better call them to order. I don't understand how incorrect use of Yoruba affects security of lives and property. But different from Oyo, Amoteku or any other state, there is no central head like the police. Next time, better analogy. Well, uh, I sincerely hope this is a joke. If they are like this and they haven't even started, looks like they will be worse than SARS. Exactly. Of course, the man said it. Uh, you know, when things are behind you, you begin to say, could this, re could this be real? Amotekun will tolerate that. Well, we won't tolerate indecent dressing and speaking incorrect Yoruba language. We won't tolerate it. I hope this man will come and say, you know, to come and debunk it that he never says so. Amotekun plans to go after people speaking incorrect Yoruba. What nonsense is incorrect Yoruba? How is that their job? How is that a crime? A regional security agency thinking like retarded primary school class captains who write names on names of students speaking vernacular. <laughs> is it not uh, laughable? Is it not really laughable? Nonsense of the highest order. If the Amoteco understanding of state policing is the revention of primitivity and brutishness of barbarian societies then they had better be disbanded forthwith before turning into a holistic and unwarranted nuisance on to us all uh we better quickly know it's always good that these people we are going to be hearing this in so that everybody people will not fall for this all these their antics or to be gullible and just be following like that and um, before they will not gain ground like to not be too difficult for them to be handled well the very moment Amotekun extends their mandate beyond security issues to the enforcement of decent dressing, they have become Isbanteku. Yes, that is what Isban doing. They are the ones going around checking for people dressing or no dressing, uh, destroying beer, uh, uh, beer parlors and what have you. The very moment Amotekun extends their mandate, okay, they will turn to Isbanteku. I hope Amotekun won't be another sass in disguise. Dressing abuse of language, hey, they won't tolerate that. Amotekun is still one of federal government zombies. Don't be deceived at all. They will soon use them on innocent hashtag answers protesters. This time around, the game won't be police versus protesters. It will be we versus we. And that's the point. That person has a point there. Uh, they were hoping we would forget as usual. They were wrong. They hoped we would be intimidated. They were wrong. They thought we were lazy and unintelligent. They were wrong. We are back and reloaded. Okay. Hashtag Nance, hashtag Rema, and all of that. Well, this is fake news. Somebody says, I don't think whether the man said it. Uh, you've heard it. You saw it in his post there. Amoteko must be forced and avoid the red lines. 
must be focused. Yeah, they must be focused and avoid the red lines, like this particular one on dress code and language. It must be the more maneuvered into the command position by Tinubu and his Fulani collaborators to sabotage the ideas of Amotegun. I can now understand why that organization has been sleeping in the face of the happiness in the West. You know, a lot of people have been calling, um, be asking that all this, uh, all this insecurity, people being, uh, lives being taken here and there, we are still experiencing this insecurity. Why is it that the Amotegun has not come at full force? You know, people have been wondering or they are not being given power to be able to do the right thing. And those are the questions we are asking. They will just come out, you know, once in a while and you just say, oh, I'm a tech who arrested this. Around. We don't even know the, the the operation is not just too clear. They are not really effective on ground like that because we have heard from uh, the IG of police saying that they are not going to be allowed to do this. They are not going to be allowed to do that. Whether that, that, that's why they are pussyfooty. But this uh, idea of uh, you are going to be monitoring people's uh, dressing and all of that is what I don't really get. It must be the, okay, I'm a tech one should confirm first before I make my comments, comments to Lubaton. That is it. Because like I said, if I come out and say, oh, I didn't say so, I was taken out of context. But people will say, if you are taken out of context, then you have to put it into context. Let us know what you mean by that this guy is paid agent whose job is to cause confusion so that a moteko will derail from its mandate hmm, this is punks they should be ready for the same treatment outside of yoruba territory i advise them to think twice before mixing things up please hello is this only yoruba speaking people that are living in this part of the country alone you are bringing tribal sentiments what has that got to do i don't know what this one is trying to say here the people are clowns. What? I'm a second one tolerating decent dressing and abuse of Yoruba language. I just can't imagine this total madness. Your job is to go to the forest and get rid of the bandits, the Fulani Esme, hand robbers, and other evil doers, tormenting our peace in the West. West no be not. Oga, make una face what you are established to do. Your sole job is to secure lives and properties of the entire Western race. Why? All that thing is long truth. Very good development. We stand by Africanism. <laughs> I'm second, please don't disappoint the Yoruba or, or yourselves. Your duty is to ensure security, not to interfere into people's personal lives. Mm. That is how they do. They will deviate from the written. So guys, leave your comment below and let's have your take on this.